There are very few towns that can make you yearn for the past like Newport. It's different from other communities like the Hamptons or Nantucket. It has its own personality and its own layers. So many people who could live anywhere in the world do choose Newport and I think it's as much about the history and the, the sense of living in both the past and the present in the loveliest way. Author Betty Pardee knows this city's enchanting story better than most. She's written two stunning books on its rarely seen private mansions, an insider's account into the breathtaking estates of America's great industrialist families and which have made Newport a source of endless fascination for lovers of history, architecture and society to this day. For 375 years, Newport has been at the center. Whether it was trade, we own China trade in the 1700s, or whether it was the moguls of the late 1800s that we've all heard so about, about and have given, of course, Newport that um, famous term, the Gilded Age. Until recently, former tennis great Todd Martin was one of those resigned to admiring Newport from afar. But that all changed with his appointment as CEO to the International Tennis Hall of Fame and Museum, the centrepiece being an enchanting grass court in the heart of Newport that is the cradle of the sport in America. It's the home of American tennis. You know, the first national championships happened here. You know, tennis is my lifelong passion. I, I played it all my life. I coached it the last 10 years, and now I get to walk in and um, and oversee a property like this that um, doesn't exist in our country. It's spectacular for, for me as a tennis fan um, to be able to walk through and see pictures of Don Budge and film of Rod Laver playing and uh, you know some of the guys that inspired me. Um, and that's what a Hall of Fame is in, in, in my estimation. is It's an opportunity for the youth to um, be inspired by the history of the sport and what's been achieved uh, previously. Looking to the future is also high on the agenda for Sale Newport. Founded in 1983 to bring the America's Cup back to Newport after it was lost to Australia, the program has gone on to become the training ground of some of America's finest young sailors who turn up in their hundreds every year to cut their teeth in these hallowed waters. Sailing's our legacy. Uh, you know, we're uh, one of the most uh, desirable deep water ports in the world. Rhode Island has such an incredible legacy of boat building, sail making, rigging. Uh, people get their boats built here, they come, they visit, they cruise, they race, they stay. And we're seeing that more and more where the sailing community is discovering not just the bay, but the land side. And they're investing in Rhode Island and they're investing in Newport and certainly you know, buying uh, beautiful homes here uh, when they come. And bringing beautiful craft with them. On any given day, you can see a jaw-dropping array of mega yachts on display in these parts, though Brad Reed stresses while they may capture all the attention, these glamour craft are just a tiny piece of Newport's sailing story. A very common misconception of sailing is that sailing is only for those who can afford a boat. Sail Newport breaks that mold and we're part of the fabric of the sailing community by offering public access. If you're coming to Newport, you're joining a community surrounded by water. Uh, whether you're a power boater, a sailor, a fisherman, you have it all. Narragansett Bay is one of the true gems of the East Coast. And it isn't just great crews that Newport is focused on building, but wonderful craft as well. We're a trade school that was founded in 1993. Uh, in this building we operate a wooden boat building and restoration program which we've been running for about 17 years. Uh, our trade school is so different and unique that there's not anything like it going on anywhere. and so. That brings a specialness to it and to the community of Newport. The International Yacht Restoration School, or IRIS as it's known in these parts, is pure nostalgia. Housed in a once derelict warehouse in the harbour precinct, it is alive with the smell of timber and varnish as teams of artisans lovingly continue the city's tradition as one of the great sailing destinations of the world. Newport has always been uh, the home of the great yacht racing from the America's Cup years all the way through. and It's deep water, it's great sailing breezes that are consistent, uh, and the weather's fabulous. So it's been an attraction for yachting and yachting enthusiasts forever. Mm -hmm.